What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at how SSDs impact performance on a PC, specifically an SSD from Western Digital. I want to give a huge thanks to Western Digital for setting out their SSD for me to review as well as sponsoring this video. The one I'm featuring in this video is the WD Blue with a capacity of 1TB, but they do have different sizes available in both 256 and 500GB variants as well as an M.2 version. So WD SSDs come in two different colors, green and blue. The green version is made for everyday computing, while the blue version is optimized for multitasking and resource heavy applications. Adding an SSD to your notebook or desktop PC is a very quick way to increase loading and transfer speeds. I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with WD and their drives. They are well known for their reliability and high performance. So in this video, I'm actually going to be testing this SSD to see how well it actually performs. So I'm going to be doing boot tests on my PC, uh, disk speed benchmarks, and also I'm going to load up some games just to see how the performance is on these SSDs. However, performance isn't the only thing that WD does right. These SSDs consume less power and produce less heat compared to standard hard drives, not to mention the compact form factor you get. If you are someone who has important documents and files, having a solid and reliable SSD is just as important as performance. So installing one in your PC isn't hard at all. Simply open up the side panel and locate your SATA ports on your motherboard, which should look something like this. Grab one SATA data cable that is usually provided with your motherboard and plug it in one of the SATA ports on the motherboard. Then you need to grab the other end of the data cable and the SATA power cable which runs from your power supply and plug both ends to the back of the SSD. Once you boot up your PC, hit delete to get into the BIOS and here you have to switch to advanced mode. Depending on your motherboard, it's either F6 or F7. You would then need to navigate to the boot menu and in here you have to make sure to set boot option number 1 to your SSD if you're going to use that as your main drive. As you can see, I have set the WD 1TB SSD as boot option number 1 so that my PC will boot from it when it starts. Speaking of boot times, let's take a look at how long it takes for my system to load from a cold start. So it took about 17 seconds to load straight to the desktop compared to my actual PC, which took about 30 seconds. Now let's take a look at a restart. So a restart takes a few seconds longer since the PC has to close windows and then reboot. But 26 seconds is still pretty fast. Again, these boot times do vary depending on your PC and the parts that you are using. I know for a fact that the motherboard does have a huge impact. In fact, you guys can do this exact same test and let me know in the comment section what your boot time is because I would love to compare these numbers. WD claims to have read and write speeds of up to 545 and 525 megabytes respectively, which is very accurate when looking at the actual benchmarks. I got a read score of 532 megabytes and a write score of 522. I was also comparing these numbers with another SSD that I was using and it turns out the WD Blue SSD is noticeably faster across all of the categories. And finally, let's take a look at loading times of GTA 5. So on my main PC, it takes around 45 seconds to load GTA 5 from the beginning, but with the WD Blue, it only took 30 seconds. The next game I tested was Doom, and you can actually see the loading speed in real time on the top right corner. 14 seconds to load Doom on the WD Blue, whereas it took me about 20 seconds on my actual PC. So what we can conclude during these tests is that the WD Blue SSD offers noticeably faster speeds in terms of booting, transferring, and even loading times compared to the SSD that I was using in my own personal computer. So if you guys are going to build your next PC or maybe you're just tired of very slow speeds and want something with more performance and reliability, then make sure to check out their SSDs at WD.com and I'll be sure to drop a link to them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.